Ladies and gentlemen, this is big breaking news. For years, drones were treated as support tools, surveillance, reconnaissance, maybe logistics. That era is over. The Indian Army has now placed 5,000 plus crore rupees worth of orders for indigenous unmanned systems that have been built, battle tested under extreme electronic warfare, including heavy jamming and GPS spoofing, the same environment encountered during Operation Sindhur. These are combat-proven platforms, cleared only after India recreated the exact hostile electronic warfare conditions it expects on its borders. And yes, this ecosystem now includes next-generation autonomous defence stacks like Indrajal, which are shaping how India prepares for high-intensity drone warfare at scale. India isn't experimenting with drones anymore. India is actually weaponizing the skies. It is time to get specific. And here it is. The orders span a full spectrum of unmanned warfare, including short-range kamikaze drones for precision strikes, long-range precision munition delivery drones, ISR platforms for surveillance and reconnaissance, systems designed to operate after launch under intense jamming, not just survive takeoff. Critically, every system went through a three-tier selection process, including mandatory screening to eliminate Chinese origin components, electronic warfare trials under active jamming and spoofing, and finally, high altitude and operational area testing to ensure mission reliability. Only drones that continued functioning when navigation, communication and control signals were actively attacked made the cut. That alone pretty much tells you how seriously the threat environment has changed. Operation Sindur exposed a hard truth. Again, we have covered this extensively on front page. The future conflicts will begin with electronic warfare, not gunfire. So during the operation, Indian forces encountered GPS spoofing, signal jamming, attempts to hijack or disable unmanned systems mid-mission. This forced the army to rethink procurement priorities altogether. Survivability now matters after launch, not before it. Autonomy matters when links are cut, not when networks are clean. And that's exactly what these drones are built for. So the point is, who won and why that matters. So in a major shift, public sector and private Indian firms both emerged as winners. Munitions India Limited, MIL, secured contracts worth 500 crore rupees for loitering munitions. Its first major drone order. New Space Research and Technologies and SMPP Private Limited together won 725 crore rupees worth of supplying surveillance and kamikaze systems. This is important. India's drone warfare capability is no longer concentrated in a single PSU or lab. It's actually becoming an ecosystem with multiple domestic players delivering operational hardware, not just PowerPoint slides. And if this sounds familiar, it definitely should. Because on front page, we've already reported on this. India deploying AI-powered mobile anti-drone patrol vehicles. The shift from static air defense to hunt while moving counter drone systems. The rise of electronic warfare first conflict models. The 5,000 plus crore rupees drone order is the offensive half of that very occasion. Earlier, India focused on detecting and neutralizing hostile drones. Now, it is deploying its own unmanned systems that can survive the same electronic warfare. Defense is no longer reactive. It's actually becoming symmetrical and autonomous. Meanwhile, Chinese origin components pose these threats. Supply chain vulnerabilities, firmware backdoors, cyber kill risks during conflict. So by mandating full component scrutiny, the army is protecting itself and the country against operational integrity, wartime reliability, strategic autonomy. What this order reveals is three things 
very clearly. Electronic warfare is now the primary battlefield. Autonomy beats remote control. Indigenous systems are the first choice. Cheap drones, encrypted networks, spoofing attacks and swarm tactics are now standard tools for adversaries. Resultantly, India is responding with indigenous autonomy, AI-driven decision system, systems that degrade gracefully when communications fail. And of course, in conclusion, the front page take and we are very proud of this one. This 5,000 plus crore rupees drone order is not about buying machines. It is actually about buying survivability. It marks India's shift from import-dependent platforms to battle-tested indigenous systems, from signal-dependent drones to jamming resilient autonomous warfare. Because Operation Sindur forced realism into procurement. And realism has a price tag, 5,000 plus crore rupees to be precise. But the cost of not adapting would be way higher. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. This is front page by AIM Network, India's definitive media organization and voice on everything AI and technology. And of course, like, share, subscribe. If you want to keep thinking AI, then obviously you've got to keep thinking AIM. Thank you.